Yeah. So uh, what I want to do is, I, so I'm basically going to be using this as a high voltage generator or a charge generator. So I'm not going to be uh, causing spark between these. I'm going to connect a wire from, um, connect a wire from one of these two electrodes. There's a hole where I can connect it to this vein and see the vein turn. Let me do that. Um, I, I think it's out of the camera shot, so you can't see it, but I'm putting something up here so that um, I can hang wire from that. Ah, there, it'll touch. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the wheel and you will see the same thing that happened before. I, I think, sorry, the video is a little bit busy, but I think you can, you, you will be able to see it when it starts to spin. Yeah, but what you saw before, just the, now this is a bit more controllable. And I can show you what I was saying before that this doesn't actually even have to touch. That, you know, the end of the wire, it's a fairly sharp, um, it, it's a fairly uh, end of the wire. You know, it's like any wire, it's a fairly sharp thing. So the charges will just naturally bleed off of the sharp edge. So if I just put it somewhere near and not, even touch the vein, it'll still work just as well. Um, it's hard to hang the wire at the exactly the position I want. So, so I think in the video, you can see the gap between, that's a little bit more gap than I used to giving, but let me give that a try. And if not, if that doesn't work, I'll move it a little bit closer without touching. Yeah. I mean, you know, it doesn't work quite as well, but you can still see that it works. Let me just stop it and spin it the other way. And I think if I turn this, then it'll eventually stop and start turning the other way. Anyway, it'll work a little bit more easily if I bring the wire closer. So let me wire a bit closer. Um, still not touching. Let's see how well this works. So, it's a fun demo. Um, 